Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Tomasz and today we will cover the reverse pivot starting on two toes from the top with the lowering. Just so we're all on the same page, let me demonstrate it once. So we will be on two toes, my left foot will be in front of my right foot. Now I will be turning to the left, so my left elbow will be going behind my body. I will be turning, lowering, and I will just drive backward from my right foot. Let's start with the footwork. Footwork will be very similar as in the natural rotating pivot. So place the first step from the toe, we will lower, put the heel down only when we finish turning, and drive backward. So let's do it. Again, I will stand on my right toe, I will place my left foot from the toe, I will make sure that my left heel will be off the ground until I complete my turn and I will drive backward. Of course, when I finish the driving step, I will be pushing from the heel and releasing the toes on the front foot. Now, that footwork is relevant because it relates directly to our rise and fall. Of course, it's the rise and fall that dictates our footwork, but remember, if you change the footwork, it will also influence your rise and fall, therefore make it incorrect if you change it into bad footwork. So it is crucial to place that first foot from the toe in order to maintain the same height. Only after you place your left foot on the floor, you can start lowering. And that's why we can only put the heel down after the turn is complete, so we can have stable foot and drive away from it. So we will turn, lower, and now I can drive backward because my foot is in correct direction. I'm lowered, so it means I can drive very nicely backward. Now, let's go to the feet alignment. When it comes to feet alignment, it's very important to understand that it will be slightly different than in the natural pivots because our feet will be on, placed on one track in CBMP. That feet alignment is caused because our partner is still on the right side and in order to execute the pivot correctly, still being in connection with right to right and poised left, that's our only chance. Because if we place the feet on two track, it means I will enter my partner's space and I will not pass her and go around her in the pivot. So that's why our foot has to be placed in CBMP. Okay, so make sure that your left foot is placed in CBMP, so not on two tracks, just one foot in front of the other. Then we turn and lower, but your right foot will already be placed in two tracks, so it will go behind your right hip. Because it's a normal driving step, therefore there's no need to alternate it. Let's go to our body rotation. Remember that that's one of the most important things in pivot, as it's the body rotation and overturning our body creates the pivot and makes us turn on the foot. Let me show you sideways. So again, we will usually start the pivot with slight wind up to the right, just so we have some continuity of the turn when we go to the middle of the step when we're exactly in the square position. Now I will continue turning my body to the left and I will turn so much that it will cause my foot to overturn. Now in that same moment, I will keep my body at slight underturned angle to the right so I can continue turning it with the driving step backward. So in other words, I will have my body turn, body turn into foot turn, and body turn with the hip turn. When it comes to the head change, I think it's just the easiest to keep it to the left. It will help you with your poise, otherwise we might very easily turn in inside of the couple. So just try to keep it left through the whole pivot and not turn it anywhere and not change your poise anywhere. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.